Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. So with this video, we are going to start a new short series on Selenite. You must have heard about this particular tool, Selenite. You just search it on Google and uh, this is the official website of Selenite. It's saying that uh, Selenite is a framework for test automation powered by Selenium WebDriver. So what exactly these people they have done, they have created a wrapper on top of Selenium WebDriver with Java. And that's why they have given the name like Selenite like that. And they claim uh, concise, affluent API for test, Ajax support for stable, powerful selectors, simple configurations. You don't need to think how to shut down the browser and launch the browser. It will take care of your uh, timeout, the stale element exceptions and search for relevant log lines and everything, debugging your test and everything. They can claim that. You can easily configure with uh, Maven, Gradle and <coughs> any testing tool that you want to use JUnit and TestNG or any BDD specific tool also if you really want to use it like Cucumber and all such thing you can use it. Currently it's available only with Java and uh, here the documentation also you can use that and uh, nice one I really liked it and if you really go to uh, uh, Google and search for Selenide uh, GitHub page so you will see the Selenide GitHub page this is the official GitHub page it's a quite active community you can see that 10 hours ago also they have made some changes here and uh, here you can see selenite is equal to ui testing framework powered by selenium web driver it's a framework for writing easy to read easy to read and easy to maintain automated test cases in java define concise fluent apis natural language assertions a lot of assertions they have given and does some magic for ajax based application we will see we will try to test some ajax based application also let's see how exactly it works later on and that's it how to start just add the dependency and uh, that's it you are good to go you can click on quick start for details it's saying if you are using maven under your pomid xml file add this dependency and if you're using ivy or you're using uh, gradle and all such things import these two uh, static imports and start writing your code with test in gnj unit that's it <coughs> okay so let's quickly set up in our eclipse you can use intellij also and let's create a new maven project that i'm going to create quickly for you guys let's see this is the maven and select the maven project click on next if you're already having one existing maven project you can start adding the dependency in your pomid xml file and then also you can use it I'm going to apply a filter that filter is maven archetype quick start okay so this one I'm going to use it and then click on next and then the group ID that I'm writing let's see this is my selenide uh, let's see sessions and the same artifact ID that I'm going to use it and the version let it be like that and click on finish so here you will see and then we got src main java src test java and then pomid xml file in pomid xml file what you do <coughs> the compiler plugin source i'm going to use 1.8 and this is also 1.8 that i'm going to use it i don't want to use j unit i'm going to use uh, testng so i'll be adding the testng dependency over here and along with that i'll be adding the selenide dependency also so the selenoid uh, latest dependency you can search it on maven so you simply write selenide a maven dependency and uh, you can click on it and here you can see the recently released in September only 5.25.0 uh, according to Selenium 4. So they have made some changes with respect to Selenium 4 as well. So you just simply copy this dependency and uh, add it over here. Okay. And then simple save it. When you save it under Maven dependencies, you will see the selenide.jar file got added. Along with that, it will give you all the Selenium other jar files or respective jar files also available here you can see the web driver manager also they have included that is also there so it's uh, creating a kind of fat jar and then they are giving the fat jar under this fat jar we have other external dependencies also like uh, selenium dependency or web driver manager dependency like this okay now we are going to use uh, test ng dependency also so i'll do one thing i'll search for the test ng dependency so let's see test ng uh, maven uh, dependency i'm going to use six point uh, 614.3 this is like uh, the most stable dependency so let's copy this and uh, paste it over here and that's it perfect so what exactly I'm gonna do that just simply close this and uh, delete these uh, dummy packages we don't need that let's write the first uh, selenide script 
under SRC test Java, we will directly write some test cases over here. So you right click on it and then simply go to new. Let's create a separate package. And uh, then I'm going to create a package. Let's see org dot uh, a test package that I have created under this test package. Let's create a new class. And let's see my new class that I'm going to write. Let's write a very simple script today. That is a Google test. I'm not selecting the main method because this will be my test in G class and click on finish. I hope the font size is good now. And then see, I'm going to write my first at the rate test annotation here like this. Okay. And then I'm going to create my first test. Okay. This is for example, let's see Google uh, search a test I'm going to write it over here perfect and then this at the rate test that you have to import from test ng you can use j unit dependency also or you can use uh, test ng also it's totally your choice guys then in selenium what we write web driver driver equal to new chrome driver before that we have to set up the system property and all such things here you don't need to do anything you simply write open okay and here see the open options are not available why because it's saying that you have to add uh, two static imports so what you have to do is just simply slightly scroll it down and these uh, static imports that you have to add okay just simple copy these static imports and uh, you simple come over here you can just add it here static imports and then after that you simple write once again open and then press control space here you can see some options are available you can see open method is there and this open method is used to launch the URL. You can pass the uh, uh, absolute URL. You can pass the URL in the form of a URL uh, type also, and then username, password, and authentication type also you can pass it. So let's take a simple URL that is your absolute uh, URL that I'm going to pass in the form of a string. For example, let's say this is my HTTP www.google.com that I'm going to use. Let's see with HTTPS I'm going to use. It will work for HTTP and HTTPS both. And when you launch google.com, for example, let's say I'm writing google.com here and then we have to enter something here. So you simple inspect this guy and uh, click on this and then here you can see name equal to Q is available. So how to find the element in Selenium, we have driver.find element. So guys, if you're coming from Selenium background, it will be super easy for you guys to write Selenide and learn Selenide. Like within two, three days, you can learn the entire framework and it's uh, up to you you really want to use it and it's very stable because internally they are using uh, selenium dependencies also they have created a lot of wrappers a lot of assertion libraries a lot of ajax and uh, affluent uh, apis that they have created so it will be easy for you to implement that okay so to find the element they have written one dollar okay a dollar function is available dollar see this something like this they have written so dollar with saying the press control space, it's a function name actually, it's a method name. And then it's saying, okay, hey, by using what? You can pass a CSS uh, kind of string also, you can pass a by locator also, or you can pass a web element also and different other parameters like selenium selector with index, a lot of other things that you can pass it. So dollar means single element and double dollar means find elements. Okay, the plural one. So right now, let's see the first single element that I'm going to write. And I'm using the by selector over here, the by using what? By dot name. I can use it over here. And the by dot name is what? A Q here. Q means the name of that particular. Then after that, I'm going to use a set value method is available. You can use directly send keys also. See, there is a send keys method, which is actually coming from web element. So you can access all the Selenium methods as well as you can access all the Selenide method also. But let's use the set value method here which is coming from uh, selenite you can uh, see you can just mouse over and you can see that over here okay but here you have to enter the text for example let's say i'm entering Naveen automation labs here okay and then you can cross check the set values method is coming from selenite actually not from selenium directly okay and then i'll do one thing when you enter the set value and then i'm going to uh, click on google search so you can just uh, click on google search and uh, you can use btnk again the name is available you can write xpath or whatever css selector guys that you want to write it those things uh, we can directly i mean use it later on and then we have to do a dot click here so see there is a click method again uh, from here so you can just simply click on it okay so let's see after clicking on it we are landing on this page and after that i want to cross verify this i want to validate this google image or logo is there or not 
how will you do that so for example i'm going to inspect this logo okay see this quickly and this is an image actually and where uh, alt is equal to google so i can use this thing that uh, i can quickly create one or you can use this id equal to logo also right so this id is available so i'll come over here again i'm going to create a web element by using what by using the id and this is the id is there and see they have inbuilt assertions are available see this should okay simple right should have and then there is a method see this it's saying should have with condition and should have with condition with duration also you can check that so let's say i'm going to use this should have condition and here it's expecting one condition class type here so here you have to use condition a dot and then i simple say appear okay you can just simple write appear that the logo should be appeared or not so this is a kind of assertion that i have written so see let's see it is working or not so run as a test ng and after searching on google Naveen Automation Labs, it will check the Google is there or not and the test is absolutely working fine on the console, you can see that. Now let's see some other things. What if I want to capture a specific text from the specific element, then in that case what should I do? For example, let's say I want to capture uh, this one, the Welcome to Naveen Automation Labs and this H3 class is equal to this. So I can do one thing, I can quickly create one CSS selector which is like h3 dot and uh, let's see there are two classes are available right so it's giving you h3 dot this it's giving you one of 12 elements because all the headers are having the same i would say the you know the same css selector you can create one xpath also so let's do one create one xpath over here let's see h3 i'm going to create one uh, text xpath over here which is equal to the text is equal to what this one see welcome to naveen automation labs that also you can do this so it's giving you one of one so this is h3 text that i have written and then i simply create let's take one example of xpath also a by.xpath and then see this xpath that i'm going to use it here and then with this xpath what exactly you want so with this xpath and what i want i can capture the text also so for example let's see how to capture the text so you simply write got get text method here see this is a get text method again it will coming from the selenide element class and get text method i can use it and then i can store in a particular string here so see i'm going to store in a let's say this is my header string that i have created and if you really want to print it on the console that also you can do that or you can write your own assertions and everything uh, with respect to test ng you can use it for example let's see i'm writing going to write one assert dot assert equals this is what my header and what exactly you are expecting the, I'm expecting this particular text Naveen Automation Labs right guys or whatever you can modify your test accordingly so let's see I'm writing it so I'm writing one assertion also and let's run it is it really working or not okay and I'll do one thing before uh, asserting let me just print it on the console as well that is it giving you the right header or not so let's run it and let's see so it's pretty simple pretty straightforward syntax and uh, the beat automation labs got entered and then looks good to me console here you can see welcome to Naveen automation labs Naveen automation and the test got passed because the assertion also got passed over here perfect that also you can use it i'm just going to do one thing this is my class for example let's see this is the class and i want to find multiple elements right guys because when you write this here there are oops, sorry uh, there are 12 elements are available it means there are 12 headers are available see this is my first one second one third fourth fifth six seven like that okay up to 12 headers are available like this so it means there are multiple elements so i have to use in selenium driver dot find elements but in selenite i have to use a double dollar here here like this and then i'm going to use by dot for example css selector and then this is a css selector that i'm going to use it right and if you uh, see the dollar here it's saying elements collection reference it will give it to you here you can see that it will return the list of all the elements it means elements collection it will give it to you and then if you really want to capture number of things over here that okay for example let's see if you really want to write a kind of list so you can check that size also see element size it will give it to you and then you can store an integer uh, let's see this is my total header count like this and let's print it on the console okay so let's run it is it really giving you the header count 12 or not so let's run it again 
and uh, Naveen Automation Labs done and the header count is giving you yeah this time when you run it through automation it's giving you 13 over here like this perfect so and then again you can write an assertion with the help of test ng that also you can write it for example let's see again i'm going to create a list of elements here list of element and then you can directly write a should see this a should collection condition also you can write it see can you see this should have the collection condition here so what you can write it that i simple write okay should have and then I'm going to write the collection condition dot uh, size and then expected size is 13. That also you can directly write it over here like this. So this is, you don't need to write any test ng assertion. They have inbuilt assertion library should have something like this, just the way we have it in uh, Cypress, right? Same thing available over here as well. So you don't need to capture the size, store inside integer and then you're writing one uh, assertion with respect to test ng that you can ignore it you can directly write this particular line okay so let's run it and let's see it is really working or not and then we will try to make it fail also okay see Naveen automation labs quite fast and then absolutely working fine let's see I'm expecting the result count should be 10 here we will be getting uh, 13 so let's see how exactly it will uh, generate the report and the test ng how exactly it will uh, show the report whenever that assertion is getting failed okay see it's waiting it's not immediately getting failed you can see in the console it's waiting and there is a, some default time that we will see it later but you can see the assertion got failed and uh, here it's saying that uh, size mismatch we were expecting 10 and actual 13 so they have from some decent a uh, console log output as well and here you can see that we found these number of uh, uh, values and uh, but assertion got failed over here like that so that's why your test is getting failed so the decent i would say that's really good they have uh, should have assertions are available like that you can easily maintain that right so double dollar means find element single dollar means single element if you click on this see don't be confused what is what do you mean by dollar it's actually here if you click on it you will see the documentation from the selenite dot class it's a function name and the return type of this function name is selenite and it's a static function which will return selenite driver dot find it will return a selenide element over here and if you go to the selenide element which is actually internally extending the web element it's web, web element is your selenium selenium library a selenium interface right guys which is extending selenium interface so this is another interface and this is another interface perfect so that's why they have created number of wrappers on top of uh, selenium customize wrappers and methods they have created and then you can usually use that in a more readable format like this okay so if you're coming from selenium background it will be super easy for you guys to learn selenite we will see more and more advanced features like weight implicitly weight explicitly weight and uh, ajax handling and then uh, synchronization different type of assertions uh, actions classes a lot of things we will be doing in upcoming chapters with respect to selenite so that's all for this particular video guys i'll see you in the next video please subscribe to the channel and share with others who are looking for selenide series and let me know if you have any issues in the comment section i'll see you in the next video till then take care and god bless you all